As I understand, obviously, when uh, Dad did uh, talk about when he came here, because being a businessman, a tour worker, uh, it was a bit shock to him. And um, he did find work, uh, but obviously, because he'd been running a uh, business there, and he thought it'll be just the same as India. So he was interviewed and he passed the interview and he was asked to uh, report to work Monday morning at seven o'clock or eight o'clock, I can't remember, because that's what my dad told me. But my dad says, well, yeah, don't worry. Uh, I won't go Monday, I'll go Tuesday. So, because um, obviously he's got a job and he got the keys as well, you know, to the department. And so when he went back, his manager, obviously, he, he, he was so angry. And he says, you are 24 hours late and there's no job for you. So obviously, and he missed his chance. But my dad did, did learn a lesson. Uh, before he was so relaxed about these jobs and, you know, and he, he said, well, obviously he's a, he's, a, he's a skilled man and he wouldn't have any problems finding a job. But after that, uh, he had problems, you know, looking for a job. Uh, a, he was Sikh. Many people asked him to remove his turban. In fact, when he came here, the, his friends, or I can't remember who he was, who actually sent um, a permit, you know, work permit for him. I can't remember who he was. But he did say, you probably uh, have problems uh, finding a job, unless you remove your turban and beard. But my dad refused. And he says, no, my turban, my beard, you know, if I have to go back, I will go back, but I will never remove it. So he struggled a few months when he was, he felt ill as well. And because of worrying and you know, what's going to happen to I me, mean, he left India and came here and know what he'd done um, and can't find a job. But he did manage to get a job. And uh, then he actually called us over. And uh, yeah, but he learned that some.